Uh, welcome to a new video where I want to compare the OnePlus Nord 2 against the Xiaomi 11T. Which one has the better camera system? So let's get started! So, uh, both devices feature a high-class uh, system made out of a triple lens setup on the back, 108 megapixel on the Xiaomi 11T, 8 megapixel ultra-wide and 5 megapixel telemacro. On the OnePlus Nord we have a 50 megapixel main sensor, 8 megapixel ultra-wide and 2 megapixel depth sensor. And don't forget there are some cameras on the front as well and I show you all the specs of those as well here in the spec sheet and uh, yeah we start off with the front facing cameras in video mode uh, so now i'm recording with the xiaomi 11t and its front facing camera that sadly can only do 1080p 30 frames per second no 4k no 60 frames per second i think stabilization is also not the best here but what do you think about dynamic range? Let's face towards the sun. Is my face still visible? I think at least this is going fine here on this device, but also no front facing autofocus. And uh, yeah, what do you think about the quality, stability and colors of the front facing video? Now recording with the OnePlus Nord 2 and its front facing camera here 1080p 30 frames per second. Also the same limitation on this front facing camera. And it's also a bit wobbly here. But what I can do when I stop the video is activating an ultra steady mode that is cropping a little bit into this main sensor of the front facing camera. But it is also providing me a little bit more of stabilization so it might be a little bit better in terms of vlogging. How's HDR? I'm turning towards the sun you can see. Probably I will get a bit darker but I think it is comparable to the Xiaomi 11T. Uh, what do you think about stability? What do you think about the quality of the front-facing video of the OnePlus Nord 2. Now I'm recording with the Xiaomi 11T against the sun, basically vlogging style with the main camera sensor, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And this is the quality that you can expect in a good lighting condition, just like now the sun coming from there. And uh, yeah, it's very bright outside, it's not so, so dark outside. And uh, yeah, this is what you can expect from the Xiaomi 11T. And what do you think about stabilization? What do you think about colors here in this situation? And now I'm recording with the OnePlus Nord 2 and its main 50 megapixel uh, sensor. How stabilization and how are colors here? I think this one is working fine as well. Can be also used for vlogging style. So now I'm using the ultra wide angle on the Xiaomi 11T. And I think this one is also pretty good. Stabilization is okay, I would say. 1080p 30 frames per second, however, is a bit bad. And for vlogging, of course, in emergency situations, you can use it as well. And I think 1080p 30 is also good enough still. But yeah, why not like at least 60 frames per second? So uh, now same spot, same video with uh, the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle of the OnePlus Nord 2. And what you Im notice immediately is that stabilization is a lot worse than on the Xiaomi 11T. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe there's no EIS at all on this one, but it feels like there should be some kind of... Maybe it is not because it's so ultra wide that yeah, they think or oh, they hope that there's enough stability in the video. Both phones feature a dual video or vlogging mode, just like here on the Xiaomi 11T, where I can uh, just simply drag myself wherever I want to. You can see, no, not wherever I want to, it just like has fixed positions in the edges. Uh, selfie cam and main cam are recording. I can switch them like this uh, during recording, which is pretty nice and can myse make myself a little bit bigger if I want to, which is also working as you can see here. And here now the dual video mode on the OnePlus Nord 2. It has some interesting features just like for example I can use a shape and I can place myself wherever I want to on the screen which is pretty nice. I think I can place myself. No I cannot. So the far right corner is not working. But you can see I have a nice round shape around my face which is also possible. I have on myself here but it doesn't really work so I cannot switch anything here. I have to stop and then restart the recording and then you can see here side by side but again I cannot switch anything so this is what you 
can expect on the OnePlus Nord. It's not so flexible as the Xiaomi 11T and I think stabilization is uh, not turned on in the front cam for some reason or it's just in particular bad on the OnePlus Nord in uh, 2 in general. Now let's take a look at the photos of both to see which one is the better in terms of photo shooting. Here are the photos, Xiaomi 11T always on the left, the OnePlus Nord 2 always on the right and on first glance you can see not much of a difference. Maybe in the background when you take a look here you can see it's slightly overexposed on the 11T and you get to see a little bit more bokeh on the 11T because it has a slightly larger sensor than the OnePlus Nord 2 but when we come to 100% here and take a look at the details there is not much of a difference. You can see it is slightly different angle but when it comes to detail level, colors and so on it looks almost identical. It's not much of a difference. Let's come to low light shots and let's take a look here if we can see a different difference and here the OnePlus Nord 2 surprised me a little bit by its white balance because you can see Everything is nice and white here, where the Xiaomi 11T has a bit of more of a greenish tint. And I think it also in terms of sharpness, uh, they were uh, pretty neck to neck, but I think the OnePlus Nord 2 has a little bit more of clarity here, though the Xiaomi 11T has a bit more sharpening going on and sharpness, as you can see here at the top. But when we go to the edges, for example, and take a look at the flowers here, you can see that, by the way, fake flowers, that there's more clarity again and more sharpness again on the OnePlus Nord 2. Now the question is like, what and why the OnePlus Nord 2 feels so much sharper here? And the thing might be because it was kicking in night mode automatically where the Xiaomi 11T was not using night mode apparently. So it could be that when I use night mode then the Xiaomi 11T would be better here as well. Another low light situation, a little bit brighter here, the same thing. We can see a lot more sharpening, a lot more clarity going on in the OnePlus Nord 2. So there's more clarity, but there's also a lot more sharpening going on. So if you take a look at here and compare it with the Xiaomi 11T, we can see we have a bit more contrasty look on the Nord 2 and on the 11T we have a less contrast, less sharpening going on, less, um, yeah, less clariness here. We have more um, noise uh, on the 11T that needs to be filtered away, not so much on the Nord 2. When we go to daylight shots now, what we can see here is also very, very similar. Maybe slightly again a bit overexposed here in the background. When we take a look at the blur, both very busy blur, so not very pleasant to look. And when we take a look at the foreground that was actually what is actually sharp. You can see it's a lot sharper on the Nord 2, but also the depth of field is a lot, lot uh, more, bigger basically on, on the Nord 2 in comparison to the 11T. The 11T has this little patch here unsharp and here it is sharp and here this and this both is sharp and you can see here yeah, this is also on both very, very sharp. When it comes to detail level, I think there's a more contrast added to the uh, Nord 2 a little bit and sharpening, heavily sharpening applied on both devices but more so on the Nord 2 and we can see this here in this shot as well but what we notice in this shot is also the white balance being totally different and I have to say the 11T is a little bit off here but the Nord 2 is putting a bit too much punch though it comes in more realistically but both basically do not a good job because the OnePlus Nord 2 has a bit of two boosted colors where the 11T has a bit of two muted colors so the real color is a bit yeah in the middle somewhere. This is the ultra wide angle and when we zoom in here with the ultra wide angle you can see the difference in white balance and the difference in um, colors. So this red here is comes a bit closer to reality than this like kind of pinkish on the 11T um, which uh, yeah is not as pinkish as it is uh, looking like here and uh, yeah the same goes for the wall here which is more like a lighter um, pinkish color than this darker pinkish color here. When it comes to um, yeah details I think slightly overexposed on the Nord 2 here 
when we go to the right you can see all the mess of sharpening going on which is like totally bad the 11t looks a lot cleaner with this is also sharpening applied but the Nord 2 is like too much too heavy sharpening applied and if I go even further here you can see both are you can see especially the sharpening and the boosted colors on the Nord 2 where it's a bit of muted on the 11t uh, and a bit softer uh, for sure when you go to the one time zoom here same you can see that not much of a difference in colors you can see both are doing a good job there maybe a slightly bit boosted on the Nord 2 again the 11T shows um, yeah, white balance that is a bit uh, yeah maybe slightly better but uh, still wrong and the Nord 2 has too much boosted color so the, in the middle somewhere there is the right color when it comes to detail level I think both are doing a good job here I don't see much of a difference I have to say in this scenario when you go here to this window you can see a little bit of more sharpness and a bit unclear here on the Nord 2 uh, so yeah that's basically it take a look at the trees here this is nice and sharp here it becomes a bit smeary and unsharp on the Nord 2 already so on the edges the Nord 2 I think has the worst lens when we go to zoom shots which is pretty interesting let's take a look at here and take a look at here no, did, did you notice the colors here of the of the grass? It's not so boosted anymore. I don't know what's going on, but if you chose choose the two times zoom, the Nord 2's color look a lot more than the 11T here. And I have to say they're much more realistic. This is the balance that I was talking about uh, before. Much more realistic on the Nord 2 than uh, the 11T stays in the same color mode as you can see here there's not much of a difference maybe slightly bit brighter but that is basically it so the 11t still has the same colors for some reason the Nord 2 doesn't and it looks better on the Nord 2 color wise i have to say more realistic it nails it when we zoom in you can also see that here the Nord 2 seems to have more clarity as well more sharpness and more details here where the 11t uses a lot of sharpening the Nord 2 doesn't it looks like almost it's an optical zoom on the Nord 2 and it is a yeah a digital zoom you can see also the difference in color how dark this green is you can see oh clearly it's green and here you see oh uh, could be also some kind of black container so that's very interesting isn't it so yeah in terms of uh, clarity details let's take a look at here you can see a lot more sharpening going on take a look at the fence here lot more sharpening going on a better dynamic range on the Nord 2 so the Nord 2 is doing a very good job here in the two times shots which is surprising for me but as soon as we go to five times we take a look here you can see how big the shift on the 11t is between the colors a lot more darker here still a bit of pinkish but a lot more realistic as well the Nord 2 however yeah I think it's also boosting the colors again a bit and uh, yeah I think we have to look into the details now to see a difference so the color difference we noticed already the Nord 2 I think a bit tad more realistic where here it is a bit more pinkish but when we take a look at the the, the details here the detail level you can see we have over sharpening on the 11T but the 11T is also not only sharper but has more details uh, take a look at the three crowns here and the little painted uh, the little white spots on the red which are not even appearing on the Nord 2 and the 11T still got them so the 11T has more details the 108 megapixel sensor for zooming in five times cropping is really kicking in and you can see the difference now in regards to the only 50 megapixel sensor on the Nord 2 for crop in so here the details are better on the 11T colors a little bit better on the Nord 2 when it comes to high dynamic range do you see a difference here I really had to check two times but it is really a different picture so I don't see much of a difference there lens flare effect on both though I think the 11T a little bit more as you can see here and uh, when it comes to like take a look at the detail level you can see oh, it looks a bit more sharper on the Nord 2 this is because there's heavy sharpening applied on the Nord 2 and this on the main lens I don't know why but take a look at this mess and compare it to this mess both messy both bad in my opinion because they do too much over sharpening but the Nord 2 
is doing a little bit more over sharpening and you can see here this is not like color missing this is just the lens filler effect i was talking about so this is shining here and creates this ghosting which we don't have we have like these two spots here at the ground and we have here uh yeah different color we don't have this here but we have therefore this uh haze there i would say yeah when it comes to like detail level again the not too appears sharper because it's using more sharpening applied we take a look at slightly more boosted colors on the not too but it is very very close and the same goes for the ultra wide if you take a look here if in terms of high dynamic range both on the same level it's just like the sharpening applied and details and here you can clearly see lots and lots of sharpening applied on the Note 2 it looks very bad and it is already looking bad on the 11T but the 11T has much more uh, yeah, to play with than the um, Note 2 here I think the Note 2 is a bit wider let's go to the other edge to see if I maybe screwed it up I think I screwed it up a little bit uh, it's a bit brighter in the shadow area so it's lifting up the shadows a little bit more uh, this is the only thing that I saw here you can see it maybe here that the shadows is a bit darker are a bit darker than on the Note 2 and we can see it later on as well uh, here again a puddle I had to take a photo and the only difference that we see here is like this uh, decided to focus here on the grass at the beginning and the 11t decided to um, focus on the background here but you can see that now the white balance and the green of the grass is like uh, matching identically some goes for with the color here so not much of a difference here maybe slightly a bit more blue in the water here and less a bit more greenish here on the 11t but it's really really very close and the next one also again shows a little issue on the oneplus Nord 2 with uh, yeah, like not lens flares yeah it is like kind of this haze it's like a lens flare which i don't have on the 11t i have like this two dots somewhere appearing but like like this stripe of haze appearing because of some sun uh, no i do don't have this on the 11t on the Nord 2 and yeah when it comes to this again a bit more boosted colors on the Nord 2 both in terms of white balance i think accurate the boosted colors you can see also here on this uh, stadium or firefighter uh, training facility uh, a lot more boosted when it comes to detail level a lot more sharpening applied on the Nord 2 uh, take a look at the windows here yep definitely the tree a lot softer here on the 11t and a lot sharper on the Nord 2 so there's um, sharpening applied heavily but also it looks a bit yeah, clearer on the Nord 2 it could be sharpening could be also a different focus point or simply because uh, the 11T has like a more shallow depth of field than the uh, Nord 2 um, both doing a good job but I like the 11T's photo a bit better uh, because it's not boosting this green so much which is looking unnatural on the Nord 2 here another photo where we can see the same differences in the background when it comes to uh, boosting colors the 11t much more realistic the Nord 2 is overdoing it with its uh, color boosting uh, this is the close focusing distance with the main camera both practically the same I was identical when it comes to uh, zooming in I think the white the, the the autofocus point is slightly different but I think here they are both sharp little bit softer maybe on the Nord 2 but doing uh, both a good job but then I can also uh, go to the closest focusing distance with the main lens on the Nord 2 I try to capture the same kind of whatever is growing there I think it's some kind of mushroom on the 11T this is the first picture on the 11T in super macro mode taking with a dedicated macro lens that the OnePlus Nord doesn't have so it has to rely on the main lens here I think yeah it can still compete a little bit if i zoom in here 100 percent you can see the 11t now the detail level is not there but you can definitely see a little bit more and in terms of white balance i think also the 11t first of all not so much overexposure second of all more details there and on the 11t i can get even closer up with the 5 megapixel zoom lens uh, tele zoom is it tele zoom 5 megapixel tele uh, a macro lens i can go even like this which i simply can only do here by digitally cropping and you can see the details is, are lost so the oneplus Nord clearly in macro mode loses against the 11t 
and uh, yeah uh, talking about max zoom range i found a squirrel running around the first picture taken with the 11t try to capture it you can see it's running like really straight up the tree you can see it was too quick for for me so don't do action shots with the 11t and in 10 times zoom but you can still see it's a tree and uh, yeah it's running around and now 10 times zoom here you can see it's a squirrel i think the picture was is, is better here but in terms of zoom capabilities i think um, yeah it is hazy here all the time the details are a bit lost here as well so 10 times zoom don't do it on both and uh, yeah both equally bad i would say so yeah that's this basically here again you can see the shadow detail differences um, that i told you earlier about so raising shadows on the Nord 2 keeping them darker on the 11t and yeah detail level again a little bit more sharpening applied on the Nord 2 and the 11t not so much and when we take a look at the last photo here you can see it looks like boosted colors like crazy on both but i think a little bit more crazy on the Nord 2 take a look at the red here of this house and compare it to the uh, really really signal red more orangey on the Nord 2 uh, again take a look at the shadows here the Nord 2 is raising the shadows a little bit take a look at this license plate of this uh, electric scooter uh, readable on the 11t not really a bit overexposed on the Nord 2 here you can see a bit more whitish here a bit more yellowish which the sun really looks like on the 11t so the 11t did a better job in terms of exposure here we have again every time the sun is like somehow involved we have on the Nord 2 some issues like with haze or something like this going on so some reflection was like hitting the lens and causing this here um, when it comes to sharpness both are doing over sharpening but i think uh, the 11t is doing slightly less over sharpening it doesn't have to over sharp so much in terms of clarity i think the 11t has a little bit of a softer uh, photo not so much sharpening going on and clarity is i think uh, good on both there's not much of a difference there uh, when it comes to this you can see yeah both doing a great job here but both also doing too much of uh, the sharpening and maybe slightly bit be better the high dynamic range on the 11t than on the Nord 2. what do you think about these photos i think um, all in all i would give the edge to the 11t because it's not so artificially bad uh, in <laughs> over sharpening stuff as the oneplus Nord is not only over sharpening stuff heavily especially on the ultra wide which is super bad i would say the 11 T's is not good already but the oneplus Nord 2's is like even worse and they try to compensate it with like putting more colors and boosting colors like super crazy and then um yeah for some reason also having like a slider of over sharpening uh, to the max the only thing that i was surprised is was the two times zoom that tried seemed to work better on the oneplus Nord 2 than on the 11t but as soon as you zoom in five times then the 11t is the clear winner so so is there a clear winner the oneplus Nord 2 or the xiaomi 11t i think the answer is clear to me at least because i love to do a lot of videos and i think the xiaomi 11t has a slight edge here in terms of photography very close i would say but what is your opinion in terms of which one is the better camera system here then you have to also keep in mind the price differences here the oneplus Nord 2 you can get a lot cheaper now than the uh, xiaomi 11t but if you are searching for this price category and uh, think about yeah spending maybe a little bit more money then the xiaomi 11t is a great device and the one that i would recommend personally but what do you think write it down in the comment section this is everything for this video comparison between the oneplus Nord 2 and the xiaomi 11t until the next time bye